So what is the best microphone for your iPhone, whether you're live streaming or you're shooting video? I'm gonna talk about three of the best options in this video. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And on this channel we do tech gear reviews, video, audio, things like that. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And at any point during this video, check out show notes and links in the description below. I'll list out all the mics and all the tech reviewed in the YouTube description. Let's get into the review. So as you know, you can record audio right off your smartphone, but sometimes it's not the best, especially if you get further away. So what are the best microphones for your iPhone? Well, the first option is to pick out a lapel mic. Now, a lapel mic is a microphone that like clips on your shirt and that can give you some cord length so you can get a distance away from the phone. So the first mic I would recommend is actually called the Boya, B-Y-M-1 microphone. Now, a couple of features Features you'll notice right away with this particular mic is that you get a ton of cord length. In some cases, it might be too much, but maybe that's something you're looking for. I have tested out some of the cheaper mics. I'm not sure which one this is, about 10 bucks, but one of the downsides is that the cable is so short, and I'll, I'll link it up still so you can research it in the YouTube description. But the Boya is awesome because you get a ton of cord length and it sounds really good. So check out how this Boya mic sounds. All right, this is what the iPhone mic just on the camera sounds like with no mics plugged in at all. Okay, here is the Boya mic. This is what it sounds like. You can see this little adapter thing on it. It has a place where you can flip it to camera. So on smartphone mode, it is turned off. And this is what this lapel mic will get you. And this mic's 20 bucks. Now the other great thing about this Boya mic is it's powered, so it also sounds great if you use it for like a DSLR or some other application. And so there's a little switch on it, so you can say off, and that's what, you, that's what it is when you just plug it into your smartphone, or you can turn it on if you plug it into like the audio port of a camera, so that's pretty cool. Now the second lapel mic that I actually use most of the time is called the iRig Mic Lav. Now this is a great mic. The Boya was about $20 US. The iRig is about $40 and it um, plugs right into your phone, works great, sounds great, and it actually, for me, is like the perfect cord length. And so, um, I use this mic a ton for Facebook Live, for periscopes, and it's kind of like my go-to mic. And so check out how the iRig sounds. Okay, now this is the iRig mic. Now this is the one that I like to use the most, just because the cable length is about perfect to be doing Facebook Lives consistent, consistently, and I don't you know, want all of this extra cable, again. Maybe you do, and it's not a huge deal. You can just move it out of the way, but I do like this iRig. Uh, it's kind of my go-to mic. It comes with a cool case, and this will run about $40 US. Now, one thing about the iRig mic is it actually does have a little plug-in place where you could plug in a secondary mic uh, and actually do two lapels off the one port, but I found that that doesn't work that great or sound that great. And so if you're gonna do more than one person, wait for later in the video, I've got better solutions for that. And then the third recommendation would be the Rode Smart Lab. You've probably heard of that. $80, now it's pretty solid. You know you're gonna get uh, you know, good audio with it, but some of these other options, it's gonna sound about the same and uh, for $20 or $40. So definitely the Smart Lab, but you know that Rode's quality is gonna be solid, so you could check that out. Now one thing I've heard about it is that that cable is kind of short, so then you end up investing in an extension cable, but I don't know, let me know if you know about that in the comment section below. Now the second kind of mic I'd recommend is a shotgun mic, and this is also, when we talked about bringing multiple people on, this is a great solution solution for that. And so I would recommend the Rode VideoMic Me. Now this is a $60 microphone and it's pretty great. You can just plug it right into your phone like that. And if you're shooting on Facebook Live or something, it can shoot kind of down you know, and, and catch you. Or if you go sideways, it's gonna work as well. And so uh, when I found with these mics that plug in that are supposed to be directional kind of mics, you don't really wanna cheap out on these. There are some Amazon options, whereas the lapels that are cheaper can actually be great if you get the right one. The directional mics just usually are gonna leave you wishing you know, you didn't waste your money. So I think this is a great investment and this is a good solution for having maybe a couple people on camera. So if you were to you know, be doing a live stream and you had two people next to it, or you wanted to, uh, that, you know, instead of doing the lapel mic option, this would be a good way to go, and if you're by yourself as well. So this is what the Rode mic sounds like. 
All right, here we are. This is the iPhone mic again. So this is what it sounds like. I'm about, mm, you know, two feet away from the phone itself. And this is what it sounds like with the Rode VideoMic Me. So this is the difference. And what's kind of cool is I guess if you could imagine maybe somebody's here next to me, we are doing two people on camera. We're about this far. Now we're probably three, four feet away from the actual mic itself. Okay, and the third option is actually to use an adapter. And so if you get this Rode TRS, uh, to TRRS SC4, then you can take any mic that you currently have and use it on your iPhone. Now to oversimplify things to determine whether or not it's you know meant for the smartphone jack or for a headphone jack, is a standard microphone is gonna have two little black lines on it, and that's TRS. And you'll notice that like your headphones for your iPhone or whatever, it's gonna have three lines on it, and that's TRRS. And so all this plug does, and there are some, you can definitely get some very much cheaper versions here. For about $15, I think this is a good investment because of, again, Rode's well built. And then some of those other ones, it's like just get something that's always gonna work for you, right? And so for, for $15, you could take any shotgun mic, handheld, anything you have, if it's the two black lines, right? And you just put this converter in, and now you can plug this in to your iPhone or to your smartphone and benefit from the audio of any mic at all. So that's maybe one of the cheapest options. And we're shooting with the Rode VideoMic Pro right now in this video. We've used that for Facebook uh, Live before if we also had multiple people on camera and it sounds amazing because you've got a great shotgun mic. Now that's like a $200 shotgun mic, but then we just use this little converter cable. Now, similarly, you might wanna also get a Rode SC3 because that converts the opposite way. It goes from two to allowing you to use the three plug prong. So for instance, this little lapel mic here that's intended for smartphones has the three black lines. The SC3 is gonna turn that into the two black lines so you can plug this into your DSLR and use it. And so these are probably uh, two things you wanna pick up just kind of for your kit in general, depending on what kind of videos you're creating. If you're doing both kind of smartphone and like DSLR type videos, and you could adapt any mic that you want. Okay, and then lastly, this is the iPhone audio. And so I've got my SC4 right here, and I'm just gonna use this particular shotgun mic. So obviously this is completely predicated upon you know what actual mic you use, but just for example. And I'm gonna uh, throw it up on this other tripod here, and I'm gonna set it right next to the phone. All right, and here you go. So now you could take a mic that you just have lying around, and you could convert it to your phone and get more pro audio like this. Oh yeah, and one more tip on that, you might want to invest in how you're gonna actually mount all of that stuff. Cause you could take, you know, some piece like this, mount your shotgun mic, and then you've got your phone, you know, mounted as well with, I unscrew that piece and put it on this thing and put that on a tripod. Not that you have to do all of that, but again, if you just kind of go through it, I can link up some resources to a way that you would mount your mics if you were using an adapter and uh, you know, they're not meant to just like clip right on your phone. So you wanna look into a solution for that. Question of the day, what do you think the best microphone for iPhone or for smartphones is? Let me know in the comments section. Remember that some of the best tips and feedback comes from you, the Think Media TV community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comments section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And also check out the playlist of all of my smartphone accessories videos. I talk about lenses and cool smartphone tripods, microphones, all in one playlist. So I'll link that up on the YouTube card. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it's a complete guide of actually all the lighting, audio, and cameras I recommend for making like YouTube videos. So you can grab that as well. Everything linked up in the description or on the YouTube card. Until next time, Think Media TV has helped you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here, and we are ready to drop the mic. Okay.